was a decent talk with the coach. Let me call my dad real quick. Make sure he's good. Hey, yo, Pop, what's up? What's up? What's up? I mean, I'm doing great. I just had to tell you that, you know, the 20-game thing we had? Yeah, it's it's done. We won in four right now. I mean, we just aren't feeling the other. I might come back to Dallas. It's a nice place, but not now. They might be trading me. I gave them three teams, Charlotte, Miami, and Orlando. Well, they like it, and I like it. I'll probably be going to Orlando if they accept the trade. But after our second Pelicans game, we lost the last one. I know I had 26-6 and six assists. 26.6 assists. Did decent on the field goals. I mean, I did what I needed to do. But my teammates lost it at the end. And, I mean, could it come back? And now it's our second second game against them. That, that game was a home game. This one is away. All right, I got you. I'm going to go. Try my best to get this dub. I mean, of course, second game coming off the bench. But, yeah. All right, bye. Hello and welcome to the pregame show of the game we have tonight between the New Orleans Pelicans and the Dallas Mavericks. Last night, these two teams played, as you see Anthony Davis from last year, and the rookie for Dallas, Andre Andrews, who this could be his last game, averaging 22.6, 44.6 field goal percentage and nearly a block. And now we're ready for the game. But as I was saying last game, these two teams played, it was a close game, 111-102. Now at the Smoothie King Center. There's Wesley Matthews, number 23, the shooting guard for the Dallas Mavericks. Kelly Olenek, number 9, the power forward for the Dallas Mavericks. Next up, we have the small forward, Harrison Barnes, number 40. From the Dallas Mavericks, again, the forward and the center, the big man out there, Enes Cancer, number 00. Last year at Oklahoma, and the big point guard leader of this team, Dennis Smith Jr., number one at the point guard position. And now, their coach, Rick Carlisle, and now off to the New Orleans Pelicans team. And just look at the great introduction that we have right here. Anyway, presenting your home team, the New Orleans Pelicans. Up first, we have Redonius Kirkus, number 17 at the small forward position. We have Etwan Moore, the shooting guard, number 55 for the Pelicans in this starting lineup. And we have the point guard, Ty Lawson, short man out there, number 10. Ready to run it for this Pelicans team. And at the center position, we have big man Boogie, the Marcus Cousins. Number zero, the big man center of this team and the leader of this team for the past few years. Power forward, Anthony Davis, number 23. And here he goes, the leader of this franchise and this team currently. And the coach, Alvin Gentry, of this team, hoping to do something cool this year. With this Pelicans roster. Now the starting lineups for both teams. A matchup here. Inez Cantor versus DeMarcus Cousins. Watch out. And there goes Andre Andrews and Kelly Olenek doing their little intro right there. Chilling, chilling, chilling. And now as you see, they're wearing their nice new city uniforms. There goes the New Orleans Pelicans uniform. And if you didn't see on Kelly Olenek, we have Dallas wearing their uniforms too. Anyway, Inez Cancer and DeMarcus Cousin, the matchup to watch. The tip up is off, up, and there it is. Andrews with the spin move, and he gets blocked. And he is on the ground. Ty Lawson coming. Oh, he's open. No. Oh, he's open. No, no, no. Great passing, and it's in. Andrews right here asking for the screen. He goes in and one. A chance at the free throw line. 
for one of the best free throw shooters in the National Basketball Association. It's in. Andrews pulling up. Bang! And on the fast break up to Andrews, and he dunks it down. Andrews going up again, and it is a dunk fest for Andre Andrews. Three fouls on DeMarcus Cousins, seven fouls for the whole team, and once again, one of the best free throw shooters in the NBA, and it is in. Lawson pulling up. Is that the end of the half? It is. And a buzzer beater right there to end off the half. 61 points for the New Orleans Pelicans at home. And 55 points for your Dallas Mavericks. And like I said again, again, the New Orleans Pelicans won the last game against this Dallas team. And Alvin Gentry very happy about his team and their success right now. And off to the halftime report. Now, the first quarter was very even for both teams, each team doing great, but New Orleans came out beating the Dallas Mavericks in that first quarter. Andrews doing a lot for the team, helping them out a lot, and Lawson on the other end doing a lot for the team, and this might be Andrews' last game too. But the second quarter was mostly Dallas, but New Orleans came in too, and they were about the same. And New Orleans pulls it out 61 55. Lawson has been doing surprisingly great for this New Orleans Pelicans team in the first half of this game. And that'll be it for this halftime show. 61 55. New Orleans is up by six. And what a view here in New Orleans. And Andrews right here, posting up Drew. Oh, get some moving, and it's in. All right, Andrews right here again with the crossover. Puts it up and in. All right, at the end of the half, and he doesn't want to pass it to Dennis, but he ends up giving it to him, and wow! From deep range. 75-97, though. New Orleans pulled it away. Up by 22 right now, and I mean... The Dallas has to like have a great miracle right here and able to win this game. So it's going to be pretty tough. Um, but they are down 22. They'd have to like limit them to 10 this quarter. That's the most they can score this quarter. So we'll see what they can do. And we'll see how it'll go. And as you can see, Alvin Gentry coaching up his team. He's very happy about how they're doing right now up by 22. And Drew's going up in it. In. And now Andrews with the ball. 
He's going off after that great alley you dunked to himself, acting like Kobe. And dribbling it out now. Last seconds could be the last game in this Dallas Mavericks jersey as he waves farewell to this New Orleans crowd. And 30 point loss for Dallas. Um, handshaking with Demarcus, but communicating without words to Ty Lawson. Competitive, anyway. He walks away right there after the 30-point loss. His team is now 1-4. And, and we'll see if Andrews will get traded off this team in the next few days. And also to mention, Ty Lawson was great out there. Did his thing, player of the game, without a doubt. He did great out there. And the number one thing that's going to be trending in the National Basketball Association is if Andrews will be traded or will he stay in this uniform with the Dallas Mavericks. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. The trade. Me for Alfred Payton. Yeah, I, I got you. I got you with the house. And you can come stay with me here. At my Orlando court. Yeah, man, I'm ready. I'm ready for I'm ready for Orlando, man. It's gonna be great. I know. Let's go. I'm ready.